St. Crispin and St. Crispinian. Feast Day, October 25th. The Footprints of Faith, The Tale of St. Crispin and St. Crispinian. In the heart of Gaul, in the midst of the 3rd century, a remarkable tale of faith and brotherhood unfolded, leaving a legacy that would endure through the ages. This is the story of St. Crispin and St. Crispinian, two brothers whose lives were woven together with threads of devotion and compassion, transcending the boundaries of time. Chapter 1 The Divine Calling Once upon a time, in the bustling town of Swasa, two brothers, Crispin and Crispinian, embarked on a journey that would shape their lives forever. Born into a modest family, their hearts were kindled with a deep desire to spread the teachings of Christianity. Their faith was a guiding light, leading them to the streets of Swasa, where they preached tirelessly, by day and by night. Chapter 2 The Humble Shoemakers Yet, these brothers were not just men of words. By the day, they were humble shoemakers, crafting footwear for the townsfolk. Their hands worked with diligence and love creating shoes that were more than just protection for the feet, they were a symbol of their devotion to their faith and their community. Chapter 3 The Power of Compassion Crispin and Crispinian's charity knew no bounds. They embraced poverty and lived a life of piety, their hearts overflowing with compassion for the less fortunate. Their acts of kindness, coupled with their unwavering faith, touched the lives of many in Swasa, and hearts began to open to the Christian message. Chapter 4 Persecution and Perseverance The path of faith is not without its trials. The brothers faced persecution from those who sought to extinguish their beliefs. They were called upon to renounce Christianity, but their resolve remained unbroken. Crispin and Crispinian would not betray their faith and in the face of adversity, they stood firm. Chapter 5 The Martyr's Sacrifice The year was 286 AD, and the stage was set in Rome. The brothers, unwavering in their devotion, were condemned to death. Their martyrdom was a testament to their unyielding faith, and they were beheaded for their beliefs. The blood of Crispin and Crispinian became a symbol of strength for Christians facing persecution, and their memory lived on. Chapter 6 Patrons of the Craftsmen As the years passed, the story of Crispin and Crispinian grew into legend. Their unwavering devotion and their lives as humble shoemakers inspired many. They became the patrons of a wide array of craftsmen, cobblers, Glove makers, lace makers, leather workers, and many others. Their legacy was woven into the very fabric of these trades. Chapter 7 The Grand Church In the 6th century, a grand church was erected in Swasa in honor of the brothers. It stood as a beacon of faith, a testament to the impact of their lives. Pilgrims from far and wide traveled to this sacred place seeking inspiration from the story of Crispin and Crispinian. Chapter 8 The Timeless Legacy The tale of St. Crispin and St. Crispinian is one that transcends the boundaries of time. It is a story of unwavering faith, selfless compassion, and the enduring power of brotherhood. Their lives, from the streets of Swasa to the grandeur of the church built in their honor, serve as a reminder that the footprints of faith, once imprinted, can never be erased. And so, the story of St. Crispin and St. Crispinian continues to inspire and uplift, reminding us that even in the face of adversity, faith and love can shine as bright as the stars, illuminating the path for all who follow. Folded Hands Looking for Daily Inspiration from the Lives of Saints? Subscribe to our channel and receive blessings in every video. Raising Hands Backhand Index Pointing Right Subscribe Now Let's spread their message of faith, compassion, and devotion by sharing this video on your social networks. Share the love and receive blessings in return. Red Heart 
Don't forget to send your heartfelt blessings in the comments section. Let's honor Street Crispin and St. Crispinian's legacy together.